go for it, dude. Uh, Polly, I guess without even looking at stats, what did you think of, I mean, the, most of the game you guys were had a double-digit lead, so really, I mean, were there things you wanted to work on in a game like this where you know you're in front pretty comfortably? Um, we just wanted to work on getting stops on defense and um, boxing out and rebounding because we knew this team coming in was a great rebounding team. And, um, we didn't want uh, them to beat us in the rebounding battle, so uh, we just tried our best to box out and play great defense. No, thank you. Um, Paul, I guess kind of almost a similar question. What, what about this team, you know, makes rebounding such a, a, a weapon for you guys? I mean, every game you're out rebounding people. Uh, you know, it just uh, gives us energy and it uh, makes us play hard when people are crashing the boards and getting those putbacks. It just uh, sparks the team and it's just great when everyone is working hard to rebound. Michelle, for you, uh, last couple games, I mean, 40 points, and just seems like everything, just about everything you're throwing up right now is going in. Is it just uh, doing anything different, or are you just feeling comfortable? What's the deal? Uh, personally, I'm just finally getting used to, like, the whole system, like, everything, like, where I'm supposed to be. I'm starting to know where everyone's supposed to be now, like, as well, like, and my points to score, I just, if it's there, I just take it. Do you feel like this team, and I'll ask you both the same question here, but you feel like I mean, it seems like you guys have kind of turned a corner here. You kind of yeah. had had, this, had some things you needed to figure out. I mean, you're just getting used to one another, maybe some things like that early in the season. But here over the last couple of weeks, it seems like uh, this, this team's reached a new level. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I think we did. You know, Coach always talks about we're slowly turning the corner, and I think it's true. Like we're finally all getting to know like each other's personnel, what, who can do this, who can come off of this and do this. And, like, I think that's really helping us because <clears throat> as for the rebounds, like, we know if somebody gets a rebound, we know people are going to be running up the court to the score. So it's, like, it's all just starting to finally fall right into place where we were hoping it was going to be. Same thing for you, Polly. Um, I just have to agree with Rachel and say that uh, we're just starting to click. The chemistry is just starting to be there now. Um, because we've just been playing uh, so many games. We played 11 so far, and uh, I think the younger kids are just starting to get to know the system and uh, start to know everything. So um, everything is just fusing together, and um, we're starting to play good basketball right now. How important is it to, to m maintain this momentum uh, that you've got going right now. I mean, you get close to, you get that holiday break and you get a little bit of time off to rest. And I know a couple of weeks, Rachel, you've been dinged up. A couple of the girls have been dinged up. And just getting to that point, you know, kind of riding a high and going into the, you know, to the calendar turn, um, playing some pretty good basketball. Yeah, um, honestly, uh, we have been playing good basketball. And I know that break is kind of long, but uh, I think it'll help us a lot just uh, working on ourselves and just. <clears throat> working on our defense, um, so when we get in our games, uh, we'll be even better in rebounding and even better at getting stops and uh, just getting to know the offense even better. Never can stop fine me. Rachel, I mean, it's almost kind of been the same story where you have four or five people in double figures tonight. You had four, almost had five. Um, what is that? What kind of boost does that give the team knowing? You know, Polly can have 18, or somebody else can step up. You can have 21. That kind of that kind of balance. I mean, the more threats you have, the harder it's going to be to stop a team. Like, no team is just going to get so far with maybe one or two people doing everything. And I just feel like we have so many scorers who could just go off at any time. Like, that makes us more dangerous. Talk about. Also, just you know, obviously, a lot of things from through Nicole, and she's she's struggled from the floor. She's trying to work some things out. Um, obviously, valuable assisting and, and rebounds and all all those other categories. She just hasn't found her stroke like she had it toward the end of last year. So, uh, how it makes it more important even that that options like you and Polly and, and other girls uh, step up and, and kind of fill that scoring void while she works that out, right? Yeah. Well, because everyone knows Nicole's gonna, you know, how she ended so well last year. I think everyone's gonna be you know, trying to stop her and doing this. So I think with us, you know, being able to provide to for the team, they're going to have to start, okay, wait, hold on. Like, you know, we got to start stopping these people too. I think it's going to open up Nick's game. I know Nick's going to Nick's gonna start killing. <laughs> they're going to have to start. 
stop and film, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> or tomorrow.